You're listening to One Minute Podcast Tips. I'm your host, Danny Brown, and each episode brings you snack-sized tips to be a better podcaster. And if you enjoy the show, you can now support with a one-off donation at oneminutepodcasttips.com forward slash support. And now, this week's episode. When it comes to dynamic content, most podcasters use this for sponsor messages or ads. So, you may have a sponsor and you insert them as a pre-roll, which is at the start of your podcast episode, or a mid-roll anywhere within the content itself, or even a post-roll once the episode's finished. And this is a great way if you're looking to monetize your podcast or work directly with advertisers and sponsors. But you can also make your podcast really engaging with dynamic content and use it for more than just sponsor messages or ads. For example, a past guest has a new book out, so you could get the affiliate link and drop a quick audio snippet promoting the book. You might host a geek podcast about Star Wars, but you're going to create a new mini-series podcast about the Ahsoka TV show. So you could upload a snippet that promotes this new podcast across all your back episodes for your current show, or just the ones that mention Ahsoka. If you're on a true crime podcast and new information has come to light, you can add a snippet with the most up-to-date info about that case featured in a past episode. There are lots of ways you can use dynamic content to ensure your listeners have the most recent details about the topic, guest, and more. And it's a really simple way to make your show as contextual as possible for those listeners, which can only help when it comes to growing your show more. Until the next time, happy podcasting. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy One Minute Podcast Tips, be sure to share with your friends and other podcasters so they can enjoy it too. Until the next time, happy podcasting.